But Dero, what, what do we what do we make of, of what the Cardinals are doing right now and how do they sustain it moving forward rolling into the postseason? That they're making magic is what they've been doing. They, they're, a sc- they're a scary team, right? You want to watch them play baseball. You got Arenado, you got Goldschmidt. Pujols is an unbelievable story. You look around the National League, though, you got some of the best teams in the game. You got the Metsies, Dodgers, Braves are stacked. I mean, I go back to the trade deadline. St. Louis was two to three games behind, and all of a sudden, now a five game lead, 70 and 51, playing inspired baseball. They all, they're going to present a lot of problems in October for a couple of teams. So I wanted to dive in. We've been doing these huge chronicles on different teams, Yankees, Mets, Dodgers, some of the postseason teams. I want you to take a look at their rotation. Then we're going to look at their lineup. Pause this real quick for me. And then we'll get into the bullpen. Bring up the depth options, okay? So you had guys like Steven Matz go down, Jack Flaherty go down. And at the deadline, we were into the sexy, shiny object. Objects. We were thinking Juan Soto, Shohei Otani. No. What does John Mosellock and his staff do? They've done it in the past. They've brought in the John Lesters of the world, the John Lackeys of the world. They go out and grab Jose Quintana and make this savvy deal for Jordan Montgomery. We'll get into him in a second. By the way, Adam Wainwright, 40 years old, tracking on 40 years old. He's found the fountain of youth with a 3.11 ERA. Miles Michaelis is sitting in the three 3s with his ERA. But the story has been Jordan Montgomery and the way Yachty manipulates him. I want to take you into a few ABs last night. So let's get let's get into it because he obviously at six foot six, six foot seven presents deception in his game. He could throw the two seamer whenever he wants and get the ground ball. But the thing you'll notice, rack that back for me real quick and then pause it right there. The thing you'll notice, bring up the board, S Rod, the four seam usage. Somebody went up to him, St. Louis. Obviously, analytically, Yachty Molina, I don't know. But when you jump something 22%, with a team. They bring you in. They kind of tell you how they can help. They do it with the hitters as well. Atlanta talked about bringing Robbie Grossman in. These are the differences we see in your swing. This is why we acquired you. This is how you can get better. Jordan Montgomery walks in the door. They come up to him and say, you need to present your fat four seam fastball in the zone. Elevate it a little bit more. You're six foot six. You create deception, funk. No one can tell the difference between your four seamer and two seamer. And you know you got that in your back pocket. No one's hitting it. So I want to go in to a couple Ian Happ, Nico Horner at bats. Ian Happ's an all-star. That's 92, not 98. Look at Yachty set up in. Give it to me inside, elevated, and we don't think he can get to it. 94, almost middle, middle, and he can't get to it. And Ian Happ's a good fastball hitter. Get me over, oh, oh, breaking ball to Nico Horner right there. 30, change up 82. He's trying to go to the bridge. Get you in swing mode. Yachty asks for it down in the dirt. You execute, cue to pitch. Three strikes, and he gone. Ian Hatt, next AB. Heater away, 94, paint. Give it something soft, down and away. Look at Yachty or Molina shaking his head. Yes, sir. Let's stay out here for a minute. 93 away. In. We're taking them in, out, up, down, soft. Elevate it. Now I got you in swing mode. That ball, run that second pitch back for me real quick. Next one. Run it. Watch where this pitch ends up. That's a foot inside. And he's hacking at that like that's middle in. And he's talking to himself in the box. So Yachty knows now I can go away whenever I want. And sticks it, gets a call right there. Backdoor breaking ball. Ian Happ is chapped because he knows that pitch is off the plate. Okay. Bring me up their lineup last night. And I know Goldie was DHing and they had Pujols at first, so eradicate that. But take a look at this, okay? This is as deep a lineup as there is. I know the Dodgers, a couple other teams, but these guys, there's a flow to this lineup. There's guys fighting for MVPs. You got Goldschmidt, Arenado, Tommy Edmonds playing his game, Dylan Carlson. By the way, Lars Newbar, last 30 games, he's hitting 304 with four home runs. Anyone realize that? Paul DeYoung will take you deep, too. Just hit a grand slam. The story has been Goldschmidt and Pujols for me. So let's get in. I want to get a little love to Paul Goldschmidt before we dive into Albert Pujols because he has been 
from day one until now has been phenomenal for this ball club. His last last 26 games, he's hitting 364 with an OPS, OPS north of 1,200. Just completely dominating them. But the story's Albert. He's found the fountain of youth. He's being matched up against left-handers. He is feeling good, and he is on one right now. His last, last seven games, he is hitting 571 with six home runs. Completely putting this team on his back. And when he went deep on this pitch last night, you talk about getting on top and closing the screen door. I think back to when I played for the Chicago Cubs and every single time he walked into Wrigley Field, he went deep all the time. Last night, 30 home runs in 97 career games in Wrigley Field. Just to put that in perspective, Aaron Judge at that point, 97 games this year, 39 home runs. And he's playing all his games one after the other. So he's sporadically coming into Wrigley Field and completely dominating. Sorry, Dempy had to do it. If there is one red flag with St. Louis in the second half, it might be their bullpen. But there's been a couple weapons real quick. We can get into that. Ryan Helsley just had a kid, so he was on, on paternity leave for a second. Triple digits has been Ooh. phenomenal for this team closing down. Giovanni Gallegos, more of the same, coming in and dominating. But S-Rod, bring up the board, because they've struggled in the second half, bullpen-wise. Worst bullpen ERA in the National League since the All-Star break. You got the Rockies, Phils, and then the Cardinals. But this could get interesting. Their starter depth, some of the other weapons. Get back into the tape, because somebody made a rehab start very recently and he if he can recapture a little bit of 2019 Mr. Jack Flaherty I don't know if they can build him up to be a starter by season's end or does he come become kind of your gun for hire weapon if they'd want to risk that injury wise but I seem to remember one of their best starters closing games back in the day throwing backdoor breaking balls to Carlos Beltran and then punching Brandon Ninja's ticket for a World Series championship so St. Louis scary team as good as the National League is playing dangerous inspired baseball Pujols going for 700 Goldie going for an MVP a lot of young bloods at the in, kind of interwoven into that lineup they're a scary team